Shut up and sit down. I've been uh, spending a little money on the looks here. Got uh, some new stuff too. But uh, tonight, we call this the Tops Bloodbath. Adam got too cute, and I put some update in a draft in a break. It's just never a good idea. But I appreciate you guys buying in. I hope we pull a bunch of fire. While we're waiting for the tunes to go through, I'll show you some of the things I picked up recently. See, this is new too. It's a new board. Luis Robert Stadium Club. This I just pulled out of a pack. I got some fat packs or cellos, I guess. This is the only thing good I've got out of the whole cello, but... What's up, Mr. Savage? Daryl. On the... You're, you're going to see a lot of these baby shark ones. Just just to let you know. Yes, all teams did sell. We do want to thank Larkin for doing that. I think we could have sold some to other people. There were some others that were interested, but... He grabbed them all. I wanted this. We pulled this, and it has the bat. And I just love the bat, so I found one. Ozzy Albies tops also got some uh, optic Alex Bregman I got uh, I bought one and the guy sent me Bowman best instead it wasn't even rookies I was like ah eh. the first official Juan Soto card they have an auto on this one this is from 2016 Bowman and then some Spencer Torkelson's so I've been uh, buying on eBay a little bit I won't be doing that this week. So, anyways, thank you guys for uh, getting together. And uh, let's go through the show sheet, and we got to get to moving. As this is a lot of cards. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well. Yeah, I got it, and uh, I appreciate the offer. Let me turn off the schedule, and we'll go through these. Man. I got some new... Ooh, hold on. Before we do this, I forgot to grab a few things. Ugh. I've been organizing my uh, own collection lately. And I have gone through 500 sleeves. <laughs> so, I got to go to my local card shop and buy some sleeves. Ooh, printing shipment comes tomorrow. If I made any money off this break, I would have bought something. But I didn't make any money. I lost money on this break. So, But uh, don't cry for me, Argentina. It hasn't happened in a long time. I just uh, 
I don't give the people what they want, and they let me know. It is just a rule of thumb. All right, here we go. Made lots of uh, similar people in this. Good luck, everybody, by the way. Christian Yu with the Diamondbacks and Braves. Michael D. with the Orioles. Orioles have hit the last two baseball breaks. Let's see what we can do this time. Larkin with the Red Sox. Cubs, Justin W. Welcome back. Steven with the White Sox. Lou Bob Watch. Larkin, of course, with his Reds. Justice, he's got those Indians, man. He locks down his Indians. Larkin with the Rockies. Lawrence, that's Mr. Four Killer. Picked up the Tigers. Oh, sorry. Royales with cheese. Um, pretty sure those go to Larkin as well. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Archives was another one that got me. But I knew Archives was going to get me. I really thought because of the holiday that this break would go okay. I think if I did eight boxes a holiday... I would have done a heck of a lot better than this. And it's cheaper. <laughs> Larkin with the Astros, the Royals, Angels, Jan. Welcome back. Christian with the Dodgers. He likes those Dodgers. Larkin with the Marlins, the Brewers, the Twins. Douglas with my Mets. Douglas's Mets. Mets, go Mets! Hopefully we can pull a nice Pete Alonso. Maybe a short print. Justin. He's got those Yankees. Same thing there. Steven with the Oakland Athletics. Larkin has the Phillies and Pirates. Cody. Of course Cody has his San Diego Padres. Matt got in on the Facebook side on some of the unsold teams and got San Francisco. If you guys don't know, that's where we sell the unsold teams. First, we give the Bomb Squad a shot at them before I post them here. Usually they don't make them here, as you can tell. Cody has also the Mariners tonight. He got those dirt cheap. Lawrence, of course. Four Killers got his St. Louis Cardinals. Tampa Bay was cheap tonight, too. Everything was cheap tonight, guys. And Larkin with the last four. Rangers, Double Rays, Blue Jays, and Nationals. So, all right. Well, I'm going to put on... Uh, somebody's about to get in trouble. Did you hear that? My wife said it. I believe it. If she says it... Man, it's the truth, Ruth. Yeah, I do too. Now, I've been watching a lot of 2021 Series 1. And I will let you guys know, I did get some of that. I got four boxes of it. Um, so that'll be coming. Um, we'll probably mix it. I don't trust it right now. Not sure you got the Blue Jays. Let me look then. Not sure you got the Blue Jays. Uh, so, uh, active, jump, sold. Give me just a second. We got to check on that. Waiting for the payment to now ship. Uh, you're right. You did not get them. Steven got them. My fault, Steven. And I spelled. My fault. Thank you for covering me there. Steven was going to throw something at me. He's like, hold up. Those are my Blue Jays. Thank you. That's why we go through the show sheet. Not that I wouldn't have checked it, but... Oh, you can put it up. Just close your... Uh... All right, we will do some door prizes tonight. We'll do three of them, and we'll just kind of grab them as we go. As you can tell, I renamed it. It's called the Bloodbath tonight. Bloodbath. That's what my bank account looks like. What's up, Cody? That's gross. Yeah, well, it's more of a joke than anything. All right, let me try this real quick. He actually brought it to me because I forgot it in there. I made it. And I forgot it. All right. Old man takes his vitamins. There it goes. Now it's better. All right. Oh, you want me to turn on AJ's mic? 
All right, now you can hear Stella. Stella's with us for now. Stop turning and catching my foot, if you would. All right, here's a couple other nice ones I got. Frankie Lindor. Of course you know I got a... And this is his rookie, and I don't know what you call it, but it was way cool. I got it really cheap. The guy didn't know what he had. And then I got this Pete Alonzo, 92 of 99. I always like the heritage because they hand signed the number. So, and of course, we will always give out the Atom Bomb of the Night. And let me know if you guys want. We have a few of these left over from our football Facebook. They are signed one of one AJ cards. Um, we have those in stock right now. And they can just ship with your cards. Let's do Chrome. Or not Chrome. Let's do one of these update boxes. Say again. Yeah, the the uh, update Chrome. We do have some of that coming. Um, it's cool that you mentioned that because we have. I got four boxes of it, and then I got four boxes of normal Chrome blasters. So we'll do that as a break. Let's see, we're gonna do this tonight. I saw somebody do this today, and I was like, man, I should start doing that. That's fun. And he actually just pulled the cards out of the box. You guys okay if I do that? You trust me? It's not going anywhere. I guess it's kind of in the way, isn't it? Yeah, it's kind of in the way. If I didn't have so many cards to do tonight, we would do that. Yeah, the Emperors of the Mound thing. Yeah, that was an empty box. Uh, Stadium Club Chrome, my problem with it is kind of like Update. It's like you go through it and you're waiting for a good card. And they just never come. The autos are kind of not great now we did an update we did just one update King Griffey Jr. Jared Dyson Verlander oh yeah see I'm used to not having to worry about focus and we will take care of that I think they see it. I don't know if you guys can see it. Stella did make a good point. I don't know if you guys saw that uh, I have a new breaking mat. It's got the old atom bomb break symbol on it. Yeah, well, they can't see that part. That's for me and my enjoyment. Mariano Rivera, Decades Best, Joey Votto, David Ortiz, Zach Greinke, and Pete Lambert. Yeah, I do. You know, I'm a sucker for Stadium Club, though. I love Stadium Club just because the pictures. Um, I'm hoping that once all the 2021 stuff comes out, that they'll tank a little bit in prices. And I'll be able to buy some Stadium Club. Just normal Stadium Club even for me. I like it. Cy Sneed. Maybe he wins the Cy Young. He's a rookie. Mike Trout. No, there'll be a lot of Mike Trouts in this stuff. Speaking of which. Polar Bear and the Squirrel. I have the gold version of this. And Aaron Judge. All rise for the judge. I agree. Stadium Club has the best pictures out of any of the sets. Um, they really do. Tops in general has better pictures. It's the first couple cards that we had to flip around. Thought Tops had actually figured it out. Pedro Martinez, the Yankees are my daddy. Jim Tomei, Cal Rickman, Kyle Wright. Kind of a cool picture. 
Yeah, my son thinks it's funny to come sniff and blow on the mic. That's my oldest. <laughs> Stella's. Okay, we got a... Uh, what do you call that? One of the uh, prospect cards. Adam Plut Pluto. Plutko. Tyler Hanneman. Active leaders. Chris Sale and uh, Kershaw. Kyle Crick in his neck. Active leaders. Albert Pujols. Probably in most categories. Runs, RBIs. Bobby Dahlbeck. I like that one. For the Red Sox, Araldus Chapman. What is he active leader in? Oh, in the... Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's because there's a lot of light on my face. It helps a little bit, but it's still... Oh, the tuxedo card. That's... Where he's pitching. What was that set in? I'm trying to remember. Was that a tops or upper deck? I guess it was tops. I can't remember. I do have that card in my original. Eric Davis. He was a stud back in the day. Him and Daryl Strawberry were the, the two guys I wanted to collect. Well, no, I agree with you. It, they're, it's like they put... Uh, a, a thick coat on the back where they don't stack up very well. I agree. There is a Pete Alonzo. A young looking Pete Alonzo. That's before the COVID wait. Gavin Lux on the rookie debut. Zach Wheeler and Albert Bultz. And we'll just make a stack of, of these 91 Stadium Club. So it was tops. That's right. Was that the first year Stadium Club? I think it was. 91 sounds like the first year. CJ Crone. Andy Burns. Rowdy Telez. Oh, goodness. That is not who we wanted, is it? We were hoping it was the uh, Randy Rosarena. Okay. Here we got a numbered card. Ryan Howard on the black. It is... 64 of 69. Wow, that's a low number. It is a low number. I know we don't get a ton of those in the top stuff. And that's going out to Larkin. I think we'll go ahead and finish this pack out and then we'll sleeve and top load these cards. The Andrew McCutcheon on the All Star, our Pujols, Grayson Griner, and Kerry Miller. No, no cloth cards. That's in the jumbo. It's either an auto or a mem memorabilia relic card. I'm kind of looking to see if there's a fat one in here. I don't see one right off. Now, normally... Like Gavin Lux and them. I don't know why they put the rookie on here. He's had like two other rookie cards. Series 1, Series 2. I, I don't get that part. Uh, that's the last one. They do Series 1, they do Series 2, and then they do Update. And I like Bobby Dahlbeck, so I'm going to put his name in a top loader. I don't know. What do you guys want me to do next? Another uh, update or holiday? I don't really care. <laughs> but, uh... Lots of trouts in this set. Holiday. Okay. Steven says holiday. It's Steven, right? Snurd Turkinson? I'm trying to think that's Steven. I think we should do the holiday that Orko's sitting on. So would you guys be more interested 
in an eight box holiday or should I just mix in holiday I got a ton of holiday oh wow we got a huge thick card must be one of those relic yeah kind of stuck to this and it's got a Justin okay Terrence Bryce Matt Davidson Jaro Diaz and here we go this one looks pretty cool it is one of the Derek Jeter commemorative patches CC Sabathia final season commemorative patch that's pretty cool that's why the Yankees went so high congratulations Justin hold on I'm gonna ring the bell for you that's our bell that's right it was pretty easy we opened it up and there it was nope it was kind of hidden in there wow that's a thick one gonna need a 130 yep. so that is our hit of this box I mean, there could be more stuff in here um, we did get that really cool uh, Wow, you don't get a lot of cards, so normally you have 14 cards. We got six in that one. That is a cool card. Okay, I really like that card. That's really cool. Congratulations, uh, Justin. Um, that was worth the price of admission, I think, for the Yankees. Everything was cheap tonight, so. Josh Taylor, kind of Bo Naylor's brother, right? Sean Poppin. Now there'll be certain of these rookie debuts I will. There's a Mike Schmidt. The Philadelphia Phillies. Battery Bath. Jalen Meeks. And a Ryan Howard. We already got that one, but it was black. Okay. I can do that. I'm glad you mentioned that because I'm not paying attention to some of those. So usually if they're kind of like that, um, we random them. The kids will tell me, oh, Dad, we got to random this one as they're sorting. Um, but we won't sort it. We'll just send it over to Boston. Who is Larkin? Larkin might have it already too. You know, it's funny. I don't have a whole lot of this. Miggy Cabrera. Yeah, something's left over. It looks like it's just a numbers game. Henry Aaron on the numbers game. Andres Jimenez. Mets number one prospect. That's going out to Douglas. Congratulations, Douglas. Miggy. Derek Jeter. Ichiro. And the newest Met, Frankie Lindor. Yep, that is for you. You are correct, sir. And this break board is so much better. It's smooth and everything. Um, the other one was just a was literally just a foam board I bought. So I'm hoping we can get another one of those acetate cards. That was like the coolest card that uh, Larkin got in the one break we did of update. After that, it was kind of like I wanted to do another one, but I knew better. I guess I didn't. I still did a break of update. Yoshi Satsugo. Derek Jeter. Another King Griffey Jr. One of the sweetest swings in baseball right there. Natural uppercut. Cesar Hernandez. There's an Indians. And a Justin Verlander. We got something shiny, so that might be kind of nice. Jacob DeGrom, what do you think? I agree. Hopefully, there is a Devin Williams, the rookie of the year. I'll give it a top load. 
That's going out to the Brewers and Larkin. That that was funny to me. I mean, he is the rookie of the year. He is a pitcher. Pitchers don't get as much love. Tuki Toussaint of the Atlanta Braves. There you go, Christian. That's a pretty cool card. And they are not numbered, but it is a foil card. Oh, yeah, the, the copper one. You're right. Yep. I don't remember. I remember you got it. You got a bunch of those uh, Brewers ones in that one break, too. And I think the big draw to this, there's uh, Aristides Aquino. Imagine that. Aristides. Um, is that there's no Lubob in this one. Well, there isn't. Um, not a base card. You can get the, the 70s decades best. You can get uh, short prints of him. Huh. And that's why Lubob's, the Lubob spot still goes good. I don't either. Just, it, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Um, some of them do, you know, but in general, your bigger hitters are the ones that uh, get more of the fanfare, especially with the rookies. Nope. He's only going to be in Bowman. I don't think he'll be in Series 1 either. I have not looked at the checklist for Series 1, 2021, but uh, I did get four boxes today. I was one of the lucky people that got it off of Tops. Man, their website crashed. It never crashes. But uh, I was able to grab four of them, snagged four. And like I said, we'll, we'll probably mix it with something else. I'll put those with... I don't know, maybe, I don't know, not not holiday, well, maybe one box of holiday, but something else. Nick Solak, that's true. Now, it would be something need to be good. Yeah, well, Tony Gonzalez and Bruce Arb Gutero had a great, uh, he pitched well that when I watched him in the World Series and whatnot. Trent Grissom is another nice one. That's going out to Cody. Mookie Betts. Pete Alonzo. Chris Bryant. And some other nobodies. An RPA for $7. Wow. But, I mean... Look at the pitching staff over at the Dodgers now. He's not going to get the time. I mean, they have so many people. So it, it just, I don't know what you're going to do, what they're going to do. Clark Schmidt of the Yankees on the first prospect. Yankees. The Yankees win. There's another Mike Trout with the stupid sliding glove on. And Buck Farmer. I don't know. I just think it looks weird. You see it? Oh yeah. Yeah. I don't know. When did they come out with sliding gloves? Yeah. I do have a cool Yu Chang because he has an awesome signature. <laughs> I picked up uh, a Spectra RPA numbered to like fifty for five, ten bucks. And I bought some other stuff, so it was, you know, basically combined shipping on it. Yep. Never understand some of these things. Okay, cool. I'm glad... Well, you know what? I don't know Clark Schmidt from the hole in the wall. But let me just put a top loader on him just in case.
I gotta go to uh, the card store anyways and get uh, <laughs> well I'm not gonna get any cards I gotta get sleeves I'm almost out because I used 500 sleeves the other day yeah Yu Chang I don't know I never got him I got I picked up uh, the Indian spot there because there for a while like in some of the earlier stuff like Diamond Kings Select um, trying to think of some of the other ones like even Optic it seemed like they would come out a lot like you would get a lot of Bobby Bradley's and Yu Chang but uh, I never I got a lot of the base cards and I got a Bobby Bradley's auto but I never got a Yu Chang so I had to buy one and it was strictly because I thought it was cool and they were cheap in breaks usually unless Justice is there he's going to bid you up on it because he's going to get his his team And I forgot that that's why the Yankees go for a lot because there's so many possibilities for Derek Jeter this, Derek Jeter that, and there's all those autos. It's like if you pull an auto, if you just look at if everything, you know, is the same, you know, you're pulling an auto and it's all the same versus anything else, you have more chances of picking a Yankee than like having three or four teams because there's so many Yankee autographs in update. Pretty sure you were sleeping. Yeah, Solak, though, is, is not a bad auto. <laughs> Sorry, Mike. It is. Update. So we're just talking more than anything. Nico Horner. Got to get the Nico going. He is in this. Taylor Ward. Now, he, I've heard, is a big dog, so I'm going to sleeve him up. There's another King Griffey Jr. That is a numbers game. Jose Suarez, Sale, Washington Nats, and Kipnis. Oh, he does? Solak does? I might have to check that out. I think I have some Solak, or at least one. Ooh, what do we got here? <laughs> oh yeah yeah don't fall yeah i just realized what you were saying mike savage you can really mess things up okay you want me to put it in the back so you can try to see the back car the back car we got a nice card coming up guys Cody Stashak. It is a shiny card. Brandon Dixon. Justin Verlander. Bryce Show Me the Money Harper. Canley Jansen, I like to choke. Zach Green is hiding a really cool hit. Who does that? Even AJ knows that. Look at that. That is a beautiful rainbow foil version of Randy Arizarania. Push the button! I have a little version of that, and you have a Yeah, Stella has it too. We all have, all three of us here at the house have at least one of these Randy Arizarania's. None of them are that cool. Congratulations. Yeah, AJ did get it first. Congratulations, Larkin, on your Randy Arizarania. Rainbow foil! I don't know why they call that rainbow foil, but they do. It is colorful. Now, I was watching some 2021 break today. A guy, he did six jumbo boxes. A case of jumbo. There's another Devin Williams. He did it in 37 minutes. Absolutely. So here's what he did. There's a Kylo. We'll put a sleeve on that and a Johnny Davis. So this is what he did. He went, uh, all right, here's the middle cards and base. 
that is how he went through every pack. And people like that. I mean, that's why they break with him. I just wanted to see the cards. And uh, the 86 inserts are so cool. They, they're Because, you know, in 86, if you collected back then, or if you've got any, they always got the paint chipped on them. And these, because they're higher quality, they just look great. Brendan McKay. No, it's not a hit, but it's it's just as good as one. Frank Robinson, Ken Griffey Jr. again. Scherzer, Jordan Lyles. I guess there's as many uh, Griffey Juniors. Yes, you. It was that was optic because you got three and you got that Randy Rizzarania to like 99 uh, out of the hot box. We need to do that again. We need to do that definitely again, because that was a lot of fun. I love Optic. I didn't know that it was called AJ's Mike. Yep, AJ's Mike. Mark McGuire, that has some interesting Dion in the bat right there. Jose Mourinho, okay, we got a 2020. That's going out to the Houston Trastros and Alex Bregman, and that is Larkin. Labor Day, Mookie Betts. Now all these aren't the the landscape version. Yeah, she was really excited. But the thing was is she like got done and I was like, well you didn't do the top loaders. And she's like, oh, I don't want to do the top loaders. And so I did them. And I was like, but you got to come at least look at the one top loader. And she was like, ooh. And then I said, well you get one of those. And she loved it. There's a base Randy Rizzarania. Yep. Sure. I'm going to give my son a hug. Love you, buddy. Grab some water. Decades best team. Verlander, Todd Frazier. Can you pick that card up? Yeah, I mean, that's why I got... I mean, I showed the Bregmans that I got. I just... It's the off-season, or kind of. And some some of those guys... That is a weird photo. I really don't like this photo of Jordan. Cabrian Hayes. Pittsburgh Pirates. Pulled a Arenado bat, Bo and Randy out of the same fat pack. You know what? Because that's what I'm going to buy. I found a site that sells the fat packs. Now you have to buy them in bulk. You have to buy a lot. But you can get them to $3.99. $3.99 a piece. So I figured I was going to buy maybe $100 worth. Hold on to half of it. Rip half of it. And, uh... So that next break is not correct. Next Wednesday is not going to be holiday. No, no, no. It's going to be Bowman. We have Bowman Chrome Hobby, two Bowman Megas, and two Bowman Blasters. So it's another Bowman break. It's actually posted. I didn't update my, my schedule here at all. Nice Starling Marte for the Arizona Diamondbacks and Christian. So, just realized that when I put it back up. But we do have the contenders and then the illusions will be next. I agree. I think for the value, um, and if you find them retail, they're like $5.99 at Walmart. So, I always will grab my kids one of them and actually I pulled the only auto out of that that I pulled it was a Jay Buhner and I think I'm going to give that away to a, a Mariners fan that is part of the bomb squad he just sent me some nice cards and so 
he's not on the break tonight, I don't think. I hope he's not. Otherwise, I just gave it away. Okay, I like the Mark McGuire. He's getting a sleeve. Jarrell Cotton. There's a lot of things I've heard about old Jarrell. Alright, let's uh, sleeve these guys up real quick. Uh oh, 498. Yeah, you can't beat that. Now, I found them, like I said, but you got to buy them in bulk for 399 So they are cheaper. And they don't charge. I don't think they charge shipping at this site. Um, so, like I said, I'm going to buy some. Because you never know when some of these cards, these guys, it'll be their first tops card, some of these first prospects, and they blow up. Um, and it would be more of just an investment. Normally, I don't invest in in uh, packs. I invest in cards, but here lately, another Randy A. Here lately, I've kind of been swayed. And in the thing about tops is, you know, yeah, the middle is where you want to go. <laughs> oh, Drill Cotton. One of the other breakers that Mikey watches, and I do, I break with him some too when I do breaks, when I buy in. Uh, he's one of the ones I will look to see what he's breaking. And, uh,. Drell Cotton has been around a long time. Uh, and he's still like a minor league player. He's still not you know, making it to the big leagues. But he just got traded. I did see that he got traded somewhere. So maybe he's going to do something. We're getting some cool uh, 85 ones that I haven't seen. Some of these... Uh, greats, Dave Winfield, Frank Robinson. Yeah, I could see that. I could see that would be nice to sign. And I'm sure since you're in the art artist genre of life, that you have a pretty cool signature unlike some of these baseball players. Some of these baseball players need to go uh, learn how to sign. So Taylor Ward evidently raked at the end of the year and it is kind of hard to find his rookie cards out of update last year just because nobody was really paying attention to him. And, uh, all right, here is our silver pack. Good luck, everybody. A bunch of mojo. Ooh. What? We got a second hit out of this. I knew you could do it, but I just hadn't seen it. There you go, four killer. The card I was going to give you is there. That's funny. Seth Brown, Rangel Ravello, and here's our... Another our bonus hit, you guys. Ready for this? Wow, what a worthless signature! <laughs> Jonathan Daza, what is that? Come on, that is worthless. But guess what? It was one of the unpaid or uh, unsold teams. Jonathan Daza, and it's numbered 118 of 149. That is, it, it looks like he says DA, but I, I'm, I guess that is why, but I have no clue. Or it's Daza, D-A-Z-A, -A, maybe. That is a worthless signature, but it's pretty cool. We got a second hit. Oh, that was tough. Let's not do that again. These are like the Bowmans. Oh, if that was Hilliard... Uh, I would be talking because I don't have this Hillary or Auto. I have a ton. Um, I just needed a little pushing. I'd already started collecting 
uh, John or uh, Sam Hilliard, and then uh, another breaker was all about him, and I'm like, okay, well, two two people can't be wrong, right? So I have like, I have this first Bowman to '99 Chrome Auto. <laughs> I didn't pay much for it, twenty bucks, but the '97, I think. Nice extra hits. Maybe we can do that again. All right, so we're gonna do tops. Do a couple of these and then go back. I should have took the trash out. I'm gonna be overflowing with trash here in a little bit. All right, here we go. Javier Baez, jingle all the way. Oh, okay, that's cool. Well, I've got probably a dozen of his autos now. Some are just base, which is hilarious because normally I'm ecstatic of a base, but it's just the one guy that I've just raked, just bought too many of. All right, good luck, everybody. These are fun. We'll do another Facebook break of this. It'll take a minute. Well, we'll do another one. It was way much, too much fun. Sheho Otani, because we got the super, super short print of him. And the kids are going to kill me on sorting this. Not only did I lose money just in general on it, they're going to kill me. Because <laughs> it ain't going to be cheap. Thousand cards. Josh Bell. Juan Joe. I do need to check for those. I forgot. They got those metallics. Chris Paddock, Brendan Rogers, and a Jordan. Yeah, because we get, I think, four of those per box. And normally, this is one of my favorite pictures of the year for tops. All right, that one's sticking, so that's the metallic. Metallic Clayton Kershaw, that's going to Christian. Tony Gonslin, speaking of Tony Gonslin, there he is. Looks like a pirate, dude. Jake Ariad and Corey Seager, that was a ton of Dodgers in that pack. I always thought that when I saw his his mustache and his hair. I was like, he's straight out of like Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> Domingo Leva. Alright, here is our first short print. Candy Cane Bat from Miggy Cabrera. That is a 71, so it is a short print. We'll top load that here shortly. Corey Kluber, Justin Turner. Now that would be cool if they did something here, like made him a Santa beard or something. Jose Altuve and Carlos Correa. So the Tigers, that would be Mr. Four Killer. Congratulations. You picked the right one. Nelson Cruz, Joss Hader. Now last time we did this, we pulled the super, super short print. Uh, that's Metallic Carlos Correa of Mike Trout. And we also had his... His one is cool. He has a purple scarf for the short print. But that super, super short print of Mike Trout was just insane. And we pulled the metallic trout that night and also the short print of trout. Edwin Gonsolin Shun. <laughs> oh, sounds like he's... There's a Sam Hilliard. Yeah, he's going to... Uh, well, Larkin, you did have one. Now you have two. There's our hit of the box. Raphael Devers on the bat. Nice card. I like it. I have one just like it. You saw it earlier. And the Santa, the uh, elf sl slipper on him was hilarious too. All right, so when I get to the end of this stack of cards and when I'm top loading everything we'll do our first door prize Travis Demery I like this picture 
I don't remember it in the other series, but because all these are recycled pictures. That's another, uh, that's Blake Snell on the Tampa Bay, and that's the Metallic. Eric Hosmer, Andrew McCutcheons, and Dakota Hudson. And what we noticed, you get about two short prints per box, give or take, because there is actual numbers on it, so you can't always get a little shorted, but you could get three as well. But we did get two. This is a 71 variety. He's got the candy cane belt. Pretty cool. There you go, Mr. Four Killer. Another short print for you. Mike Gishkrimski, the next guy I'm going to load up on. He's a little more expensive. And a Shogo Akiyama. Gishkrimski, uh, I was getting his auto first Bowman, and it was running me a lot more than I wanted to pay, so I don't know if I'll go that far down the rabbit hole, but I'd like some autos and some rookies. What we got here? Yep, Freddie Freeman on the metallic. That is going to Christian, Matt Dice, Mark, Mike Trout's brother, also known as Mark Trout. Alright, Jeff McNeil, Mr. Fraley, Brendan McKay, Aaron Judge, Max Kepler, Edward Suarez, Whitfield, Ozzy Albies, and Amigi Cabrera. Alright, that was the end of that box. So let's go ahead and in the chat, would you put a number 1 through 20 and we will roll a dice for our first door prize of the night. And I forgot, Larkin, I owe you a door prize. Because you had the most teams of the night. So we'll let you pick first. And everybody will get a chance to look at them, I guess. And then we will go from there. Nice goldie. Yeah, we'll let... Uh, Larkin pick his uh, door prize of the night because the first door prize always goes to the person with the most teams. Here lately, it's kind of been a crapshoot. Been about five teams will get you the first door prize, or at least a share of it. Sometimes we have to uh, auction off that, or not auction it off. We have to roll the dice for it. Ralphie Devers. The thing about holiday is, is there's so much to sleeve with the metallics and the short prints. So it takes a bit. I do appreciate you guys getting in the break and supporting Adam Bomb Breaks. Even though your MC for the night didn't put together a great group of cards to break. Hopefully we can pull nice cards for everybody. And everybody goes home happy. With deals. Lots of deals made tonight. Yeah, I have a higher uh, esteem out of the holiday than I do the normal cards. There, Mr. Four Killer caught up. All right, here we go, Larkin. Let me know what you would like. I don't remember what I have in here, truthfully. Ravello, that is Topps Gypsy Queen, and that is to 250. Luis Severino on the Baby Shark. Adley Rushman on the 
Stat Trackers, Bowman Chrome, Casey Schmidt, Extra Edition, Autograph. I think it's just the, the base. Bryson Stott to 4.99. Ulrich Borjarski, Stat Tracker. Old School Juan Gonzalez. Speaking of Stadium Club, this might be a... T yep, that is. It's the 91 Stadium Club of Juan Gon. Paul Goldschmidt on the Bowman Chrome 2017. Last year, Walker Bueller. That's the 582 Montgomery Club edition. You can only get it from that club, evidently, but I bought it on eBay. Christian Pache. Trey Mancini on the Baby Shark. Ryan O'Hearn on the Finest. Dansby Swanson, 2017 Diamond Kings. Andre Dawson. Ozzy Albies, rookie card. Atlanta Braves. Michael Brantley on the Stadium Crow Club Chrome Refractor. Andres Galarraga on the Baby Shark. Oh, that's one. I've, that's the one you're going to want. Aristides Aquino, Gallery Heritage Edition. And Willie Adamas, and that's the same thing. It's numbered to 250. So I'm assuming you want the Aristides Aquino. We'll go ahead and roll this as you make your decision. All right, guys. Dice of Doom. We'll roll it. I'll grab it and then show you. Oh, he's thinking. All right, there it is right there. Right, let me grab it, and I will show that the winner, winner, chicken dinner. Actually, not. It's just a door prize. Chicken dinner might be nicer. 19. So, 19, Matt. Of course, Matt wins. Aquino, please. You're welcome. Now, Matt, do you need me to go back through them, or do you remember what you just saw? I can go back through them. But Matt was our winner with the 19. He had chosen 16. Severino, he says. Of course, I forgot. He is a Yankees fan. The Yankees win. Larkin. All right, Severino, that was back at the beginning. The Baby Shark Edition. I love the Baby Shark. They're actually not numbered, but I know there there's a print run on them. I just can't remember what the print run is. Oh, you're welcome, Matt. Thanks for hopping in, man. One of those cheap breaks. And I haven't shipped out the football yet. My uh, daughter was dragging her feet, so she got kicked off the island, and I was finishing that up tonight. They will go out in the morning. So I'll send this with your football break. All right. Let's get this back oriented. My New Year's resolution was to get shipping quicker. And the baseball ships quicker. It's just the football. I found only my oldest will actually do it. He'll do it Monday. But if any of the others' turn is for that, they will not do it. Okay, I was about to say. <laughs> if one is nice, what about two? Javier Baez, number two. There you go, Justin. You've got two Javi Baez's. And I have one uh, from the last break. The guy that had the Mets. He's a big Mets fan like myself. And he was in it just for the short prints. And he gave me his uh, Pete Alonzo. And I'm like, oh, thank you so much. And now that he gave it to me, I'm like, what do I do with it? It's really hard to uh, to take care of. That's a Keen Wong on the uh, Metallic. That's going out to Matt. Jose Altuve, Correa, Freddie Freeman, Nolan Arenado, and Trevor Story. Yeah, what Larkin was telling me... Is this is the second box of Holiday. Yes, second box of Holiday. Yep, Holiday box number two. Four killer went to sleep. It's okay. We all do it. Thank goodness we do it. Otherwise, we'd go crazy. Uh, he's uh, What Larkin was telling me, and he actually sent me a picture, that certain uh, of the team bags that are a little wider, you can actually put them inside of it. 
So, ooh, this is a nice one. It is 71. But look at that. The candy cane. I, it's got the hook. Oh, it's so awesome. That is Larkin on the Juan Soto short prints. That is cool. I really like that one. That's going to be close to that and bomb of the night. Because it curls around. You can see the tip of it. Good job, Tops. Good job, Tops. I like it. Gavin Lux, number two for Christian. And Dustin May, also number two. So you can, if you have some of, you know, the team bags that people send you and you hold on to them, I had just thrown all mine out because I'm like, I don't need them. I don't, I won't reuse them. There is Luis Robert. Steven, first Lou Bob of the night. Hopefully of several. There is another Randy Arizarena. Ooh, and that's metallic. That gum. Randy A Knight. That is a cool card. Hosmer, Paul Goldschmidt, and Andrew McCutcheon. We're going to stop real quick. And uh, sleeve these guys up. Too many good cards to not put a sleeve on. An Easton Series One break, also. Haha, <laughs> no problem. Oh yeah, um, I'm trying to remember his uh, natural city breaks or whatever it's called. Yeah, I saw that he had a bunch of little fat packs and packs that he got out of something. There's a lot of Series One going on right now. So. I really should have thought through this break. Some Bowman would have probably been a little better. But again, I appreciate you guys getting in the break. You guys don't want to hear me talk about that. The Cubbies. There's that Juan Joe. And last time, I think we only got one Luis Robert out of four boxes of Holiday. Hopefully this time we do a little better. We've been through one and a half at this point, and uh, we seem to be doing pretty good. The Randy A's are killing it. There's still a lot of chances to pull some cool stuff. And we still have one short print and one hit. Well, I take that back. We now have our hit. Christian Walker. Robinson Cano. He will not be playing this year. Jorge Alfalo. Yaskrimski. Tony Kemp. And we have... All right. That's different. I haven't seen that one yet. And that's Gray. Glaber Torres on the game used memorabilia. Let's take a second here. And yeah, we do have at least one Nico. I think we got a debut Nico. I don't think we've gotten one that I can remember out of uh, Holiday yet. But that's just, out of four boxes, we're going to get a couple, I would imagine. Aaron Judge. That is a metallic on the Aaron Judge. Justin, there you go. Another one. Shogo. Matt Thice. The Duggars. And Matt Carpenter. Cool. Yeah, I like Glaber Torres. We had a really cool door prize that lasted uh, as soon as someone saw it, they got it. <laughs> it was, uh, there is a Michael Trout. Michael Nelson Trout. Isan Diaz. Reese Hoskins and Scherzer. Yeah, that Glaber, I think it was a Bowman 
2017 Mojo. I think that sounds right. It wasn't a rookie card or anything, but it was way cool. And it was one that, you know, I got as a door prize. And when I was opening, I was like, oh, man, I don't know if I can let this go. But I did. Ooh. This is what we were looking for last time, I think. Oh, no, it's Santa Claus hat. 71. Bobachette on the short print. There you go, Steven. Congratulations. Kepler, Eugenio Suarez, and Ozzy Albus. I don't know, that that patch, that CC Sabathia patch is pretty sick. I'm just thinking about Adam Bomb of the Night already. Yep, Jose Barrios. We've had that one before in the Metallic. Raphael Devers and a Sean Murphy. Pull that up so you can see it. Yeah, it is cool. I, he has a short, it's a super short print where it's a candy cane arm. His arm is a candy cane and it looks really cool. And his is funny. He has all the presents right here in his arms and he's running. Trent Grissom. Nice card for the Padres and Cody. There is a Bryce Harper metallic. Show me the money. Jordan Alvarez. That's a pretty good pack. Lots of rookies too. Shun Yamaguchi. Show me the Yamaguchi, man. All right, last pack of this box. There's a Nick Solak. You were looking, you were looking for Nico. There's a Kylu. Nice pack so far. There's another. Now I'm, I'm just having to check them because they're right in the middle. Garrett Cole, New York Yankees. Another metallic for the Yankees. The Yankees win. Mike Clevenger. All right. Since you guys have bailed me out tonight, pretty much, while I'm sleeving these up, let's do another door prize. We're going to give out an extra door prize tonight, I'm pretty sure. We might give out a couple extra. I got a bunch of new ones in. So let's do a number... Patch is 100%. Okay, we'll see. So let's go ahead and put in a number 1 through 20 in the chat, and we'll do our second official door prize of the night. And good luck, everybody. A number 1 through 20 in the chat for the next door prize. Christian says he wants 11. So I wonder, when you guys do this, do you pick the same numbers, well, like Larkin and, and Four Killer did? <laughs> or do you actually, you know, vary your numbers? And is there any rhyme or reason to your number? All questions that Adam has, because I've never seen anybody else do it this way. They'll do door prizes on the front end, but they don't do it consistently like I do. Um, maybe that makes me different. Maybe it makes me weird. I don't know. Nobody wants to comment on why they pick their numbers. Or is it just random? You just randomly pick a number. Because when I played high school football, now, let's just go ahead and put this out there. I was not very good. I played in Tennessee for a 5A school, and the guy that I graduated with, Mo Thompson, he now is a professional trainer for potential college athletes and college athletes to make it to the pros. And he was the Mid-State Player of the Year. And he made All-State his sophomore year all the way to senior. And he was in the running for Mr. Tennessee. And I played behind him. So I didn't see the time of day. Um, I, you know, I'm not great. Oh, okay. Niece's birthday. I like that. Okay, I like the Boba Shet, though. 
All right. Dice of Doom. Here we go. We're going to roll again. Three pointers because I was decent at making threes. <laughs> Mr. Four Killer. I love it. Okay. So the number is 10. Of course, it would be one right in between two people. So Christian and Larkin, what I'd like you guys to do while I open up the next update box is pick a number, 1 through 20. Again, just you two for Christian and Larkin, and we'll re-roll the Dice of Doom. Number 1 through 20 again, or if somebody wants to concede and give the other one, I don't care. That's up to you guys. But a number 1 through 20 as I open up old update box number 2. dropping a brick if I roll a 10 again it was meant to be then you both get it because you both picked numbers that were equidistant apart <laughs> from each other I love it all right empty box you know I probably should keep one of the I am I'm gonna cut the top of that off and Okay, put our silver pack to the side. Here we go, Dice of Doom time. Nope, it is not going to be that. It is a five, so Christian, you do it on purpose. <laughs> All right, Christian, you are the door prize winner. So where are they at? Here we go. I'm trying to think here. I know you live up in the Philadelphia area or somewhere around up in Pennsylvania, I think. So, But I don't know what your favorite team is, Christian. But congratulations, you are the door prize winner. And uh, we'll go through these again. Willie Adamas, Gypsy Queen to 250, Andres Galarraga on the Baby Shark, Michael Bradley Stadium Club Chrome Refractor. I don't know what they call it. Yeah. Ozzy Albies, rookie. Andre Dawson, 85. Dansby Swanson, 2017. Diamond Kings, Walker card. A Walker, Walker, Walker. Oh, the Walker Bueller. I'm glad you recognize that. It's the Phillies. Oh, your your team's the Phillies. Okay. Where's the Walker Bueller at? There we go. I. This is another one that if it was going to stay in here too much longer, it was going to become mine. Walker Bueller. These are hard to come by. I think the uh, they get a set of those as part of their entrance fee into the Montgomery Club, which I heard sold out in one day this year. It used to take you know a week or two. Um, well, congratulations, Christian. So you are a Phillies fan. So I have to ask, are you a, a Bryce Harper fan? Definitely welcome, Christian. Christian's been here since break number two. Uh, he was endured a big-time trash fire at the front end of my breaking career. Uh, I say career. I do this for fun, but otherwise I'd be doing it every night. Ooh. Put that to the back. We got another acetate card. Um, we have some locally here. Uh, just because I'm kind of in the pipeline because of what I do in the local card shop keeps me. Okay, this is. Oh, this is cool. This is cool. Oh. Oh man, this is so cool. Cal Ripken Jr. We pulled one of these last time. And the thing is, is I haven't seen this in any other break. We just have got lucky. These are to 10. That is 7 of 10 on the acetate. That is going to Michael D. Once again, fire pulled for the Orioles. 
you guys need to keep keep uh, track of this. That is three weeks in a row we pulled something sick. Last week wasn't huge. We had the Adley Rushman uh, image variation. What's the odds on the acetate card? I don't even remember seeing them on the back. Uh, I'm looking. Printing plate, platinum, camo, powder, Independence Day. I got too many cards to open to do this, but... Um, I don't know. I don't know what the odds are. Somebody would have to look that up. But that's... That is going to be in contention for the Atom Bomb of the Night. Definitely. Um, if not, it's already there. Oh, so you're a kid, so... Mike Schmidt fan. Mike Schmidt, I just caught him at the back end of his career because I started watching in 85, 86 range. Really in 86. And uh, he was still good then. I mean, he was still not going to cover off the ball. Another Bo Bichette. Sandy Koufax. McGuire. I thought that was another Arizarania there for a second. And the Orioles keep hitting. It's That's three weeks in a row. And uh, I don't know. We, it was like when we had all that Gavin Lux going down. That it was like everybody needs to bid on the Dodgers because we're pulling crazy amounts of Gavin Lux. We pulled, what, nine in that Chronicles break that one time? Oh, Wow. That snuck up on me. That's cool, too. That's a numbered material. Major League material, Matt Olson, And it's numbered... 21 of 199. Yeah. I, I know. that's It's going to be tough. But you never know what else we might get. If we pull a... Uh, six short print. And there's still a ton of cards left. Just because we pulled... You know, the, the hit doesn't mean we won't get another one. I mean, it would be amazing if we pulled another acetate because I think the odds are fairly low on that. The odds are not in your forever in your favor, as they say on uh, Hunger Games. Oh, what did I just do? Shoot. All right, we're going to have to go through these because this was the rest of my stack. Randy Rizzarania. Number two, or three. I think we've seen the rest of these. Yeah. All right. I'm going to leave not that because I just ran out. And I think that's the short printed uh, picture of Cal Ripken, too. I don't think that's the normal because, you know, I know the Aristides Aquino that we pulled out of the first update break. I showed him a picture of the Aristides Aquino, and he's like, I've never seen one of those. And he broke four or five cases of this. And this is only, I think we broke three boxes of this before, maybe four. Another Devin Williams. David Price. Wow, somebody stole his lunch money. Of course, he has several million dollars of lunch money. It would be cool to get another uh, auto in the... Uh, this pack seems extra big. I bet I could count and there's extra cards in this one. There's a flipped around card. We'll move it to the back. Nolan Jones for the Indians, and that's for Justice. I don't know why I looked. I knew Justice had the Indians, because it's a baseball break. All right, who we got? Oh, wah, wah, wah. Chris Martin, Atlanta Braves, to 2020. And that's going out to Christian. Christian. 
Frankie Lindor, another Griffey Jr. Oh, these are all on the front end. That's interesting. Usually they're on the back side. Now, I have been looking at the Topps logo. Usually it's going to be flipped around card, but I, I have been looking for the uh, vintage logos. I don't want to miss one of those. My kids might catch it when they sort. Um, I'm trying to remember who gets to sort this. I think my oldest does. Ooh. We got a flipped around 85. I don't know what that means, but we'll find out shortly. And that's one thing I I mean, from my experience, update, it isn't a bad product. It just Oh. Yeah. I hope so too. I just bought a uh Oh, and I missed out on that one today. Dang. Um, there was one I bought just recently. I'm trying to remember. All right, here. Let's look at this card. See what we get. Ooh, Cody. Fernando Tatis. And that is a beautifully centered. That might be a gem mint. And that is a blue one. I think these are limited in number but they're not serial numbered we will sleeve this up carefully because I like Tatis nice card Try to keep these stacks where you guys can see them. All to be transparent. Jorge Alacala. That was just fun to say. Nick Solak. Oh, I want to put him all the way down because that's where my stack was. Decades best. Kyle Crick in his neck. Kingo, you know, I, it was just, I don't know what happened. They gave him a little bit of, of a shot this year, and he didn't do well, but I, neither did a lot of players. I think just the whole lack of a true spring training, and and uh, the pitchers will go back. And Nico Horner, there's a Nico for you. I think that's the second one of those. He looks familiar. See, like Frank Swindell, if he starts raking, then the, you know, update will be huge. And that's why, I, to me, it's like I don't think people recognize how many rookies are in update. Not the right rookies. Not the ones everybody wants, but that's why I'm going to load up on a little bit of fat packs and open some. See what I get. Ooh, there's a hawk. Andre Dawson. I have his rookie in storage somewhere. That was my pride and joy growing up. I traded a lot of cards to pull off an Andre Dawson rookie card. Peter Alonzo. I still want to actually show you guys the cards, even though we've kind of seen all these already. Except when we get to the middle. Josh Jung. Jared Walsh. Yeah. Well, you know, it... Yep. I agree. They really do give up on people too soon. And, uh, you know, don't work with him. It's like... Send him down. Are you guys too busy about work, winning? No offense. I don't think the Reds. No offense, Larkin. I don't think the Reds were, you know, championship contention this year. Why don't you build for the next year? Work with him. T 
Ty Buttery. There's only a couple better names than that, but I don't think he's in this set. Mike Lucina, Decades Best. And a Mariano Rivera. All right, I'm going to sleeve these up real quick. A little stack of sleeve cards. <laughs> it's kind of like me saying that the Mets were in contention. I know the Mets were never in contention. They were they were trying at the end of the year. They started to play better. And uh, it looked like they possibly could get one of the 1,000 playoff spots they were given out last year. Which I think they're doing again this year. And I really hate it because it waters it down. I, I know it makes the fans cheer. But it's like football. Stop letting all these people in. I know it's all about money, but... But, anyways, like they listen to me. 75 tops. Now, is that Nolan Ryan's rookie year then? 75? I'm not... I should know. But I don't. I'm assuming that's his rookie year. I have a Gary Carter right now. And, uh... It's not bad. It's probably a PSA 6. I didn't pay much for it. I think my best card at this point is a Patrick Mahomes Donruss rated rookie as a price price point. It's not my favorite. Yeah, but I think they that that's in the works that they are have agreed with Major League Baseball to keep the expanded playoffs this year and as of yet they're not going to play which is frustrating I can't agree on what they want the concessions to be 60 okay 68 is this rookie card I thought it was a little farther back okay well I want uh, some Tom Seaver met I don't want to go all the way to his rookie card because I don't want that type of investment um, but I've always wanted some Tom Seaver rookie or Met card, like an old Met card. And I've found some, but I want it in good condition. I used to just buy crap, you know, it didn't matter. I was just going to buy it. But it's like now, well, you know, I could spend a little money on a card. Oh, that's nice. Now, my favorite card, I have a uh, Pete Alonzo. Oh, content, uh, contenders optic to 25. It's his rookie card. Oh, why did I open this? I wanted to open this, guys. <laughs> we have a whole stack over there, but I opened the the, the silver pack. <laughs> oh, trash show! Such a trash show. Steven Strasburg, Reese Hoskins. There's a Genesis Cabrera, another Cardinal in this group, and a George Springer, and. Rip and show it off. Two hobby packs in that the whole year, and that was in the first one. Wow. Father's Day parallel, too. That's cool. No, I bought uh, mine off eBay. This was before I was really opening a whole lot of packs. I was opening some, but uh, I was buying and selling on eBay. Just single cards, buy low, sell high type thing. And I got a Pete Alonzo to 25. It's worth a little over 100 last I looked. And I only paid 15 bucks for it. It was pretty sweet. But, uh, and I have a PSA 9 Optic, I think to 99 of Pete Alonzo as well that I like a lot. The color on it's really cool. And I have some cool Mike Trouts to 25, like in the mid, like 2017, right around there, 2018. Alex Wood on the chrome rainbow. Another Aristides Sequino and a Trent. Oh. <laughs> oh, wow, you got some good ones. 
You've got some good cards. I've been trying to get uh, 89 Fleer to do a Facebook break. I did get uh, 90 Upper Deck is coming in the mail. So we're going to have a Junk Wax break. I want to do two boxes of it and try to keep it divisional or maybe 10 spots and keep it as close to $10 as I can. And that would include shipping. Willie Stargell, nice pirate there. Back when you could have a, a showing pot belly and play. And play well. So it should be really fun. I have some that I have earmarked. I'm just I've got a lot of inventory I gotta I gotta sell. I gotta break some before I really start doing that. But we'll do that. If you're not part of the Facebook group, I don't know if you're part of it yet, uh, Justin. But uh, Larkin will probably be nice enough for me to throw up a link. There's another Kailu. Um, and it's where I announce, hey, this is what's going on. We have this coming up. And also we do breaks off that. We'll do football breaks. And it's Facebook only. If we can't fill it, I know a few people that I kind of reach out to and it fills pretty quick. Like Christian. Christian's one that I, I'll reach out to. Um, and uh, we just fill them up that way. One in 437 packs. I think we beat the odds. Since we pulled two in... That's well, 48 plus 48. That's 96 packs. Now, they're nowhere near each other when you talk about collation, but that's pretty good. Thank you for looking that up. National Pastime Auto to 25 out of Chronicles. Yeah. All the Chronicles to me are awesome. I love Chronicles. I'm trying to put together a hits break. I've kind of been buying some boxes. I have a huge number of hits. I have a Chronicles box. I have a select box coming. And I think I'm going to do Absolute because it has six hits. But I, I'm wondering if I should do Chronicles because the four hits. About the same price. It's just, you know, the number of hits. Um, probably the Chronicles would be looked upon better. Just because it's a better thought of, on brand. I mean, I like it better. Looks like a Ryan Mountcastle on the number one prospect. Yoshi Satsuko and Kevin Pillar. Larkin must be asleep. But yeah, the Facebook group's pretty cool. Um, I think a lot of people in this break are part of it. And they have participated in a, a Facebook group. And we keep those Facebook breaks kind of cheap. I try not to make them real expensive. Um, just a way to, to break some extra cards. And give you guys choices. A lot of times what we do now is we'll do pick your own team. And then you get three extra teams or two extra teams. Depending on how the format is. Speaking of Nolan Ryan. Texas Rangers. Nolan Ryan on the 85. I like that one a lot. Trace Thompson. Trace Thompson. And I'm not going to sleeve that shot. It doesn't count. I agree. I agree. Thank you, Larkin. Appreciate it, bud. Um, I think Panini runs circles around tops. Um, maybe not some of the higher end, like uh, uh, shoot. I'm drawing a blank here. I got one right over here. Let's look. Oh, Finest. Finest is nice. Um, but other than that, it I, I would rather have some Panini. Rich Hill of the Minnesota Twinkies on the foil card. That's also going to Larkin. Well, when you buy all the teams up at the end, because nobody bought any of them, you get a lot of cards. Since 1990. Yeah, I wish I'd continued to collect cards. But I uh, started in 85. 80, yeah, 86. No, 86 is when I started. And I ended about 92, 93-ish. King Griffith Jr. 
Um, and I wish I'd continued because I think I would have had fun, but was in college, got married. There's a Mike Trout on the 85. Junior Guerrero. Um, and I have a lot of mine in storage, and who knows if they're any good. It's in an unair conditioned storage, but it is sealed. Um, but the heat could have damaged them, especially those old cards, turning them all yellow. I mean, not that they would be worthless at that point, as long as they don't stick to the pages that they're in or in the monster boxes. They'd be fine. Another Yordan. Okay. You're about where I'm at. Here is a San Francisco Giants. It is the Stars and Stripes version. Zach Green, he's got a very funny look on his face. Wow, that's funny. And that is 27 of 76. We're almost 1776. That would have been cool if it was 1776. Alright, and a Trent Grissom. Nice little pack there. David McKay, that's Brennan's brother. I have no clue, I'm just making crap up at this point. Jeez, we still got two more boxes and I feel like I'm going pretty quick. This is just a lot of cards. Put that over there. It is a cool card. I like that one. Also like this Mike Trout, and that's going out to Jan. And the 85, it will get a top loader. Wow, Christian, you've been collecting the whole time. That's awesome. I bet your collection is stupid. Oh, and Hobby, it's one. Okay, it's still pretty good. Three, 359 packs. That's uh, over a case, right? I think there's... How many is in a case? I think there's 12 boxes in a case, so maybe one per case. Um... Oh, more than a case, right? 240, yeah, 212, another 50, yeah. So it's it's uh, less than a case hit, so. Christian, you probably have a heck of a collection. This is when everybody stopped collecting, you were still getting the cards. So the Mike Trout rookies and stuff like that. I remember when Mike Trout was a rookie, too. I remember I got him on my fantasy league. I was reading some articles. That's got a, a weird look to it. It looks a little blue right there. I just wanted to mention that, Michael. I bet I would have to have a room. I mean, I've only really been collecting for about a year, but I don't buy much. Full of cards. Wow. I bet. That would be cool. Starting museum. Museum of baseball cards. That would be real cool. I would go. Especially if I was up in the seeing a Phillies game or something. Or even the Pittsburgh Pirates. My my youngest he's a Pirates fan, so that's probably where I would end up. Okay, when Kobe was a rookie. So you got some good rookies then. So that was like Kobe and Garnett. <laughs> wow, that's cool. I got involved in sports, and when I started playing football, I didn't have time to collect anymore. I didn't even think about it. I was working, buying buying stuff for myself clothes and CDs and worried about girls and uh alright got three more packs interesting what we learn about each other as we just sit here and open cards lots and lots of cards so many cards 
That's Pete Alonzo. Decades best, Derek Jida. Derek Jida. So, my plan is, is when me and Mrs. Bomb are empty nesters, which will be a while, is to travel. And I would love to travel and see all the, the baseball parks. I've seen a couple. I'm hoping Fenway doesn't run away. I've gone to Fenway. I've been to Old Yankee Stadium. I went to Memorial Stadium before Camden Yards came. Sounds like they're leaving it. Evan White on the Mariners prospect. Taylor Ward. Robinson, I like to cheat Cano. Oh, I'll just wait till this last pack's over. Number two. Oh, wow. Yeah, my, my youngest is just getting into it, AJ. So, my oldest, he he's playing soccer now, and he's liking it. Now, he's 13. AJ's 9, so this will be his second season of baseball. But they moved him up to the... He was 8 when it started, but since he turned 9, they moved him up to the bigger... There's a nice Gavin Lux on the 85. Cody Stashnik. Now, we did not get one... I guess that would count as our short print, huh? Because we didn't get any other ones. I'm really excited for AJ to play baseball this year. He's he's older, um, more coordinated. Because he was eight playing with a bunch of 10 and 11 and 12 year olds. Draft redemption. PSA 10 list for $50,000. Wow. Now, I bought a bunch of Kobe's. When he retired, I was like, oh, I want to buy some Kobe's. I want to get my, my my lot of Kobe. And I have probably half a dozen of them. But he died right as I was putting in some on some autographs. And dude were pulling them off. They just pulled them off. They were selling for like 20 30 40 bucks. Uh, yeah, I don't know, Matt. It would kind of make me sick. I've done a couple stupid things like that, but or not stupid. It's not stupid. You just don't know. Um, yeah, I'm 40. How old am I? I'm 44. So yeah, I, we didn't start having kids until I was 28. No, I was I was older than that. Um, let's do another door prize. We're all talking and stuff. Oh wow. Well, see, who knew? You know, until the last year, I wouldn't have got anything graded. But now it's like. I start looking at stuff and go, well, you know, that might be great. And if I get a 10 on it, you know, it'll make it, instead of a $20 card, it'll be a $200 card. Uh, but while I'm opening this, 51 in March. So, yeah, we didn't have kids until I was older. So, um, four-digit card of value. That would be cool. Clayton Kershaw, let's do another door prize, guys. Throw a number in, 1 through 20, and we'll open another, or do another door prize. While I get this all set up. Yeah, if you're going to, uh, I, I know a guy that is doing it. He buys, I buy a lot of cards from him. You probably want to get a subscription. It makes it cheaper, and they get it back quicker to you, but it ain't cheap. Well, yeah, I mean, that's the thing. If it gets you back in the hobby, you can't be too mad about it. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't make that. Hey, you got a Clayton Kershaw ornament. <laughs> wow. 
Wow. 600 Jordans. Now, do you have any, like, 86, 87, 88? Those are the years. I have everything after that. 88, 89, 90, 92. I bought a lot of them. Let's look. Ah, see, that's 10. 8. Now watch. Spin. 14. All right, Christian's the only one playing, guys. Larkin is, too. Let's put a number in, Matt. Oh, 15. So you, you got 15. I get it. Uh, we need one from from Justin, and I think that's the only people that are in the chat that are playing. I don't know. Maybe there's another one we're missing. I'm scrolling up to see when we did the last one, how many we had. Steven's in there, too. That's right. Maybe he's still awake. It's getting late. Yep, Steven's still there. All right. Looks like we're good to go. I'm going to go ahead and roll it. All right. That is the number. That's funny. You said it was loaded to the high side. And it's a seven. So that would be... Eh. Yeah, it did, Larkin, but I already rolled. And it goes to Justin. He's got number seven. He got number eight. All right, where are they at? Oh, man. Rookies, plural. I almost bought one of the star ones, which don't go for the $30,000, but they're still a four-digit card. I, I I just didn't do it. They were 30 bucks growing up. Jordans were 100 200 bucks. Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, Justin, congratulations, you are the door prize winner. Let's roll through these. Goldie, Juan Gon, Yorich Borjarski, Bryson Stott, Casey Schmidt, Adley Rushman, Ravello, and that is to 250. So is Willie Adamas to 250. Andre Scalaraga on the Baby Shark, Michael Brantley on the Refractor, Ozzy Albies rookie. Dansby Swanson rookie, Andres Galera or on just Galera, Andre Dawson Expos 85, Ryan O'Hearn 2019, Trey Mancini, and Christian Pache. Let me know what you'd like. We'll put your name on it and get it sent to you. Casey Schmidt Auto. All right, I've heard of Casey Schmidt too. But I got that really cheap, so I figured I'd throw it in there. All right, here we go. I'm rolling through these. I don't want to keep you guys past midnight my time. Gavin Lux. All right, so Casey Smith, you're definitely welcome. If you're not part of the, the Facebook group, man, hop in the Facebook group. I will be posting another uh, baseball will be next. Oh, that would be great. I don't have any of my older stuff. I'm getting some uh, Ralphiel Santana uh, signatures. I'm in a, a, one of the Facebook groups that uh, has private signings. And they'll say, hey, having a private signing. I mean, these are like official dudes. And they have a lot of them will do like PSA stuff too. But it, this is all for my PC, so I don't really care. Um, but that would be really cool if you wanted to send that. Justin, what's your initial? I think we have two Justins tonight. Probably not. There's not a whole lot of people. Yeah. And the only reason I do Facebook is because of this. <laughs> Sam Hilliard. I wasn't on there much before. I think that's the only reason Larkin keeps up with it at all at this point. Dustin May, big hair, don't care. And Goldie. Just Will. Okay. Well, you'll see it. There's And there's another benefit, too. Once we get to 75. Oh, I don't care if they're beat up. That old. I would love it. My kids would, too. They like to look at the old cards. Um, 
Sure. And the request, uh, it, basically, you just have to put in your favorite uh, team. I do need to be careful because they do have the 72s are facing forward. I need to be careful. But uh, once we hit 75, which we're getting close. Last I checked, we're at 56. We're going to do a free break. And I just got the stuff for the football break, and I've already had the baseball break stuff for a while. And we will do it. All right. Here we go. I don't know if you have this one. This would be a Shogo Akiyama. Oh, it's his hat. I was looking for it. That's kind of cool. I don't know if you have that one, Larkin. That is a cool Shogo because it's they like make it into his hat. That's really cool. Michael Bro, and there's an, the normal Shogo to go with it. Duggar and Matt Carpenter. Yeah, I think pretty much. I don't know if Steven, are you in the Facebook group? I can't remember. We have a couple Stevens now, and I'm, I'm unless I'm on Facebook, then I can tell who's who. Um, I'm glad I could pull it. Jeff McNeil with that grin. Yordan, and that is a metallic going out to Larkin. I'm getting to the point now this break has gone on for so long that I know who has everything. Yeah, uh, who did he play for Kingman at the end of his career? I don't think he was with the Mets. I remember having an old Kingman, like a 79 or 80 card that I just got because, oh, there's a, another red. Now, this has got, it's two color. He's got a little pinstripe on there. Luis Castillo of the Cincinnati Reds. Congratulations, Larkin. So yeah, Kingman was he was a smasher too. He he strike out. He was Reggie Jackson, but he didn't have I guess the flamboyant the Cubs. Yep. That's who it was with, yep. Cause that's what I remember him, like the cards that I was opening in packs and stuff, or that I would see a lot of, uh, was him in a Cubbies uniform. He did. He uh, he was chasing that money, I think, and people were hiring a, a home run hitter is what they were. I gotta make sure I sleeve the right, or top load the right Shogo. without it that's true without it he did not have the colossus of clout type thing Reggie's who you wanted up there in in October definitely Randy Rizzarini is not far off though if he does that again yeah Mike Schmidt was... Mike Schmidt, though, he always seemed smaller for a home run hitter. A lot of these older guys, they were big guys. But Schmidt seemed like he was a little smaller. And I don't know if that was just me or what. Oh, I usually top load that. Um, and maybe it's just TV or something. I mean, they're all bigger now than they used to be. Oh. My trash can is overflowing. All right, we'll get through this. It might be a little over a two-hour break, but I kind of knew it was going to get there with this one. All right, here we go. Solak, Benintendi, Lewis. That's right, they're together. Second Kyle Lewis of the night. And that is a Ryan Zimmerman Metallic. Another Mike Trout. I don't have any short prints of Mike Trout yet. Yeah. (laughs) 
Daryl Evans, I think, is a is a shame. I mean, just longevity. He should get in, and and maybe he will with the veterans committee. Um. All right, here is man. We don't have any luck on the the deeper short prints. Blake Snell on the short print. It's going to Larkin. That is a 71. So it is just the short prints. Still cool though. Fred Lynn does too. Well, Fred Lynn, he had, he was a rookie of the year. He was an MVP. Um, Dwight Evans was too. I mean, I remember him at the end of his career playing with the Red Sox. Um, there's a Bo Bichette. There's Edwin Rios, and that's going to be a metallic. And those are hard to see. That's why I feel right here on them all the time. You see me kind of feeling the sides. Yep. But it's all political at this point. I mean, I think the Veterans Committee gets a lot of people in that deserve to be in. But I, and I, I'm surprised they haven't got those three in. Yep. I agree. Yeah, Harold Baines. Come on. When he got in, I was like, he was just average. He was average for like 20 years. He never led the league in anything. Yeah, he was an all-star because he was on crappy teams, and they had to have an all-star for the White Sox. Um... Uh, Yeah, Don Mattingly in uh, Mattingly to me was he's please. Yeah, Mattingly and Murphy, or, or Dale Murphy is uh, he's a personal favorite. But since they didn't get to the 500 mark, Bernie Williams, yep. I mean. He didn't get the 3,000 hits, and that's what he had to get. I don't know. Dale Murphy might be because of religion. He's, he's Mormon, so I'm Mormon. Um, and there was a kind of a stink about that. I don't know. Do with it what you want. Did I miss that? Lark and I apologize. You know I would top load that. That is... I'm sitting here talking. Definitely, I'll top load both of these guys. Another Kyle Lewis for Cody. Yep, I'm gonna. I top load all the short prints. Last time I did not, and I actually went back and I top loaded all of them because I was like, you know, afterwards I I I was trying to. It's kind of weird. Okay, it came off. Fred McGriff's another one. Crime dog. Alright, let's do one more. Uh, okay, it came off too. Let's do the last door prize of the night. One more door prize. Hey guys, this has been really fun. This has been one of my favorite breaks. Uh, the chat is amazing. Um, it has really been a great time. I don't care that I lost money because this was awesome. Um, sincerely, it really is. Um, love it. But last door prize of the night. So put a number 1 through 20 in the chat. We'll roll the dice of doom again. And we need a better ornament. We kind of, we need like a Lubob ornament. Nolan Arenado. He was happy about that picture. <laughs> oh, goodness. I agree. Or we should get... Yeah, Calaraga is kind of iffy to me. Um, but Larry Walker got in. 
Now, Larry Walker was kind of those... I think he might have won an MVP one year. But in general, it's kind of... Okay, so Larkin, 4-Killer, is... Uh, Steven still with us? I was going to wait on Steven's number. There we go, Steven. Look, Mom, an ornament. <laughs> That's about what it was. Okay, I think we have everybody. All right. Yeah, okay. You know, if you win an MVP and you you have a career, and I think he had 3,000 hits. All right, 14 is the number. 14 is the number. It's the number after 13. Yeah, Todd Helton had some heck of a year. I mean, there were some years he was far and away the best player. Um, and he didn't get it because he was playing for a crappy team. So 14, that means, Christian, you get the last door prize of the night. Congratulations. I got your second one, right? Yep, second one. Yeah, but defense, unless you're Ozzie Smith, it doesn't matter. Or uh, there's another one. What's the other guy who played for the Indians forever? I think he should be in. Uh, Omar Vizquel, if he's not in already. I think he did get in. Christian Pache, this is for... Who did I say won this? Christian. Yeah, Christian won this. Christian Pache, Trey Mancini, Ryan O'Hearn, Andre Dawson, 85, Dansby Swanson, Ozzie Albies, rookie, Michael Brantley, refractor. Speaking of Andres Galarraga, Willie Adamas, Ravello, Adley Rushman, Bryce Stott, Ulrich Berjarski, Juan Gon, and Paul Goldie. So let me know what you'd like, Christian, and we'll throw it in with the rest of your cards. All right, last box, guys. Last box. Good luck, everybody. Hopefully, we can pull some better short prints. Uh, it looks like we're going to have another Kyle Lewis. Look, Kyle Lewis and Nick Solak together. Yachty Molina. That is that is cool. I like it on the landscape. It is metallic. The Ozzy Albies. Okay, we'll get that for you. Four killer. There's you a Yachty Molina short print. We need the Lou Bob, too. Ozzy Albies. Yeah, and I never saw Munson play because I, 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 you know, he was already passed away by then. But I heard he was just amazing, and you know the way he he passed. You know, he died from a plane wreck. Uh, why not put him in? Just because he was. Ted Simmons. Well, yeah. The Baseball Hall of Fame, it's kind of... Or the football... They do put a lot of people in. But was it... This year, the baseball didn't put any in. They didn't vote anybody in because the steroid guys were all still... And they didn't want to put them in, which I think is a shame. Everybody was using, at least in my mind. All right, here's a short print. We're going to move it to the back. Chapman, Wilson Contreras, Malik Smith, Brandon Nemo. Still a 71. <laughs> He's got the Santa bag. <laughs> I like that one, Steven. That one's cool. I'm going to go ahead and sleeve it and top load it so I don't forget about it. That one is cool. I like the Santa bag. And it's funny. I've We've opened 10, 12 boxes of this stuff. And... Uh, I have not seen any of the ornaments hanging off the bats. And that's the one kind of like... I see the scarves a lot. We've had a couple scarves. But we haven't had many 
or none of the uh, ones with the ornaments. Oh, okay. I think Bonds Clemens should be in. Bagwell is in. And I think he's linked to Royds, too. Yes, yes, he was. There's a Beau Bichette. I think Rafael Palmeiro should be in. I think he was one of the better hits. That's uh, Edwin Rios on the metallic for Christian. Jesus Lazardo, big lips, don't care. And another Randy Rizzarania. Yeah. You have the Yelly with the ornament on it. No on Bonds and Clemens, huh? I don't know. Barry Bonds wouldn't have all the records he does. <coughs> Excuse me. But, uh... The... the and no one... Sosa... I don't know about Sosa. I, I'm, I'm iffy on Sosa. I don't know how much the Roids helped him. Um... And Maguire is kind of the same way, as I think Maguire was just definitely in. A definite no for Bonds. Now, is that because he's a jerk? Or you just don't believe in him as a player? Because to me, he was one of the best hitters I've ever seen. No for you as well. Wow. This is interesting. I'm just wondering, is it because of the roids or more... Oh, yeah. Yeah. I agree with that. A lot of people cheated. They just didn't get caught. I'm pretty sure Mike Piazza cheated. Uh, Burt. I don't think Berkman did enough. I think Berkman was roided up for the few years he was a stud. Um, but Bonds was a stud from beginning to end. I think Bagwell cheated too. Biggio was one that you, you could tell that he didn't roid up. At least he wasn't like everybody else. He wasn't on the big time roids. Pete Alonzo. Everybody's entitled to their opinion. I just think we lose a lot of history because to me, a Hall of Fame is history. And I'm a history guy. I, I have a minor in history, which does absolutely nothing for me. I just like to read books. And uh, to me, we miss some of history if we leave them out. But I, I agree. If you're going to take a stance, then none of them should be in. Gio Urshela, and that is another metallic. Juan Soto. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I, he was a big guy, but he was kind of linked to it. Another Sam Hilliard. And it makes me think, I mean, I'm a Mets fan too. It makes me think he cheated, but. Guys, I would love to see an autograph. I don't know. Did we get our... I think we got our last one, didn't we? I think Luis Castillo was in the last one. I don't know if he was in this one or not. A steroid Hall of Fame. Yeah, Mark Gastineau would be in that one. You just do cross sport. Mark Gastineau would be in it. Uh, why not put LT in there? There's a Randy Dobnik, and that's Metallic. AJ Puck, that's his first card of the night, I think, for Puck. Aristides Aquino, Luis Urania, and Luis Severino. Yeah, I do too about Frank Thomas. The only thing people lean on is that he wasn't a home run hitter. He wasn't a huge home run hitter. And that makes people think that he wasn't roided up. Well, that's our last short print probably of the night. Oh, and that's cool, though. 
the candy cane arm sleeves. Bosworth. Yeah, he was the epitome of it. I like the Aaron Judge. Mitch Hanniger, Jake Orezzi, Trey Turner, Kyle Tucker, Nick Senzel. Because he is a known cheater. Paul Konerko. Wow. We went there. I don't know. He he hasn't ever been linked to it though, and he never was like like a 50 home run guy. He was always like 28s, 30s. I don't know. He's another interesting one that it would be hard not to keep him out, but how long was he really good? I mean, he was definitely the best White Sox for a while. But maybe what, 5 years? Albert Bell was. Albert Bell definitely was, but he was on the juice. Jake Fraley. There's a Yordan. I think that's the second one we have of Yordan on the metallic. That's going out to Larkin. There's another Nico. Justin, we got a few Nikos now. We're catching up. Adam Dunn. I don't think Adam Dunn. Sheffield, to me, is one that... You know, he was linked to it. Right? Well, we did get another memorabilia. I wanted an auto, but the auto chances on this are so low. It's a cool one, though. It's a bat. Brandon Belt. That is going out to Four Killer. Will Smith. I liked him in Independence Day. Fresh Prince of Bel-Air was awesome, too. All right, that was the last pack. Let's sleeve these up. Juan Gonzalez is another good one. But all these guys are just suspected of being steroid users, so... Adam Dunn, though, I don't think was on steroids. His, his, uh... The big donkey. <laughs> Wait, what? What, this? Yeah, you, you... Oh, no, that's Matt. I'm sorry. Sorry, Four Killer. You had Detroit. Matt had. Matt's asleep. Or is Matt still in here? I haven't seen Matt in a little bit. We must have been past Matt's bedtime. Oh no, there he is. I see Matt. He's still here. A Rod is another one. You take it, I guess. <laughs> it's Matt. So I can't give it to you. Anyways, my kids would sort it to Matt because that's what it says on the short the sheet. All right. Well, we're gonna go through a recap, and uh, I don't know if I can go against Cal Ripken Jr. We'll see though. Because I did go see probably a dozen Orioles games growing up. Me and my dad lived outside of Baltimore. But it was Memorial Stadium. It wasn't Camden Yards. They built that right after my dad moved. Uh, A-Rod is one. If anybody gets in, it's A-Rod. Because he, is, he has tried to make up for it. With all his TV stuff. And everybody loves him on TV. Bobby Bonilla. I don't think Bobby Bonilla is there, though. I don't think, you know, in the Salary Hall of Fame, Bobby Bonilla, because the guy is still getting paid. <laughs> Hold on, now. You got to give me time to get the music going before we start making choices. All right. Well, you have to wait and see. I'm not going to let you see. We're going to cover it all up. Make sure I don't grab my Pete Alonzo and throw it in here. Alright, we'll put uh, Brandon Belt on top. You guys can't tell any of it. What were the Mets thinking? Mr. Matt. Yeah, well... 
Alright, here we go. Yordan. Now, I think there's two of these. There's the Aaron Judge on the bat. Bobachette, Kyle Lewis. We got two or three of those. Randy Rizarania. Shun Yamaguchi on the Santa bag. Kyle Lewis. Blake Snell on the Santa hat. Another Bobachette. Gavin Lux. Shogo on the cool Santa batting helmet. That's really cool. Yordan. Luis Castillo on the patch with the pinstripe. Gavin Lux and Evan White. Kyle Lewis. Zach Green going out to Matt with the funny look here. 27 of 76. Mike Trout going out to Jan. Devin Williams, one of the many. Cody. Beautiful Tatis. This, if you're going to grade something, this is one. I mean, I don't know what it's grade worthy. Another Randy Rizzarania. Matt Olson for the Oakland Athletics. That's number two to 199. Kyle Lewis. Another Yordan. Boba Shed on the Santa hat. Glaber Torres. Randy Rizzarania. Lou Bob. Only one tonight. He's kind of hard to pull in this. Gavin Lux. Juan Soto. Another Yordan. Yordan's not. Miggy Cabrera on the. Candy Cane Bat. Ralphie Devers. I got that one too. <laughs> Gavin Lux. Goldie on the Santa Belt. Jonathan Daza. The extra hit. Devin Williams. Kyle Lewis. Abreg on the 2020. Another Randy Ed Rizzarini. Another Devin Williams. Clark Schmidt. Trent Grissom. I don't know why I sleeve that one. Bobby Dahlbeck and Ryan Howard. And that was to 69, 64 of 69. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's a Ponzi scheme. Brandon Belt, Randy Arizarania on the rainbow. A lot of Randy A's, but you're right. CC Sabathia is runner up. I should have a runner up. Maybe I'll get AJ to make a spiffy of something. The atom bomb of the night is this card. This is so cool. These acetates are my favorite. To 10. 7 of 10. That's going out to Michael. Congratulations, everybody. I think we did well. I think everybody got some good cards. I hope so. Um, we will never do that break again. <laughs> if you would like to do some holiday, let me know. We can probably do some little two-box breaks, three-box, four-box breaks in Facebook. We'll get something rolling. Hey guys, it was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it. We will get these sorted as quickly as possible. This is a thousand cards, but... And always, peace out, gentlemen. Have a great night. See you guys next time.